This is the process shot. I'm Michael. This theater doesn't have a bowling alley, and I'm simultaneously glad for that and disappointed. Sorority Babes in the Slime Ball Bowl of Rama, directed by David Dakota and released in 1988, is one part sex comedy and one part slasher horror following the exploits of three college geeks as they crash a sorority initiation ceremony. When they're caught, they're forced to partake in one of the initiation challenges, which is to break into a local shopping mall and steal a trophy from its bowling alley. They manage to accomplish this with the help of a thief who had also broken into the mall, but when the trophy they find is dropped, it breaks open and reveals a strange imp who claims to grant wishes. While the thief, named Spider, and one of the geeks, Calvin, reject the opportunity, the others take their chances, only to find that the consequences are deadly. It's up to Calvin and Spider to trap the imp and escape with their lives. The premise is admittedly pretty sound, being your average teen slasher with a dash of perversion and fantasy horror. For the most part, it sticks pretty well to horror conventions, generally in the second part of the film, once the imp is released and wreaks havoc. The sex comedy aspect is still around, but it's really generally limited to the first parts of the film before entering the mall. And after that, it's pretty much ignored, giving way to the horror. It would be a nice balance, but the film has an issue in that even the horror is presented in a rather uneven amount, and is seen almost just as sparingly as the comedy. All that's left is a rather slow and somewhat dreary amount of talking scenes between characters, as they either try and figure out what their next steps are, pad out the running time, and or share expository dialogue, which also goes nowhere significant. To the movie's credit, it does at least try to give the viewer a solid and grounded hook, rather than throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. Calvin and Spider are essentially the film's protagonists, being the only two to see through the imp's lies and make an effort to escape the shopping mall. Their relationship is given a solid amount of development over time, making up a good amount of the aforementioned scenes of padding, and soon enough they end up being the most sympathetic characters out of the group, the rest of which effectively functioning as slasher fodder. It's not enough to bring the film out of its ongoing rut, but it at least gives the movie something to do other than meander around its setting waiting for the next victim's turn. Sorority Babes does offer some technical competence as well, or at least tries to be a bit more than something shot in a shopping mall using only whatever lights already existed. Instead, the movie does keep to a stylized horror vibe through lighting and shadows, which works to make things visually appealing but doesn't mean too much when the film's monsters are at times clearly visible, rather than hidden for maximum scare potential. Cinematography is also like this, knowing how to make the movie look cool on the surface, but never really being used to its fullest artistic extent. At the very least, you can tell what's going on in scenes. Editing isn't bad, Though the movie tends to just jump around from location to location without any smooth narrative flows between cuts. At a few times, there's even seemingly random jump cuts to and from scenes lasting under half a minute, if that, which don't even have a payoff until later in the movie. Overall, Sorority Babes in the Slimeball bowl rama isn't entirely awful but it's still a bit of a slog to get through. The story is there, but it's not thought out very well and treated almost secondary to everything else. The pacing is slow and a bit tedious as you sit waiting for people to get through their dialogue and actually do something. 
The movie looks neat, but that's pretty much all it has to offer. In the end, I think the main problem is that it doesn't quite know whether it wants to be a straightforward horror film, a horror comedy, or something that tries to be more than either of those. Or something like that. Sorority Babes in the Slime Ball Bowl o Rama. David Dakota, 1988. Two stars. I'm actually not sure if I'd recommend it or not, since it feels like something worth seeing for a look at what passed as entertainment in the late 80s, but it's not something you'd need to see. I suppose I'll say no, but you may get more out of it than I did. At the very least, Spider's a cool chick. Anyways, that's the end of this review. Leave a like if you liked it, leave a comment if you didn't, and subscribe for more reviews in the future. The title of the movie is also kind of dumb. I thought there was going to be more slime, and also bowling. But there wasn't any slime, and there's barely any bowling.